great, we're in a demo, and I'm going to assume that you already know how to work with Half-Life Advanced Effects and its streaming system. I'm going to assume that you know how to create streams, how green screens work, and all of that. Okay, so we're going to just jump ahead to this more advanced method here. Okay, so first things first, let's make a base effect stream. Okay, so that's going to be Merv Streams Add Base Effects, and we're going to call this POV. That's going to be our stream name is POV. All right, so a base effect stream allows you to manipulate the stream by adding a commands or drawing or not drawing certain things on the stream. It's not a normal one where, you, where what you get is what you see. It, it's a stream type that you can make look however you want. So that's pretty cool. That's, that's the cool part about base effects. So make sure you add a base effect stream, and we're going to call it POV. Okay, let's hit enter. So here's the weird part. We're actually going to clear the stream that we just created. And that's because we want to make sure that it's a completely clean stream, okay? That there's no cached commands that are attached to this stream uh, that, that Half-Life Advance may have stored for some reason, okay? And that's going to be Merv Streams, Edit, POV, Action Filter, Clear, okay? Cool. All right, so it's cleared of all the action filters. There's no effects or commands attached to POV. We know that we have a very clean stream now. So first command is Merv streams, edit POV, action filter, add X, okay? Now add X, so it allows you to, to apply an action to a texture or, or a, a file name. It basically just allows you to manipulate certain materials and whatnot in Counter-Strike via Half-Life Advanced Effects, okay? So the first one we're gonna do is class name equals predicted view model, okay, quotes, space, quotes, action equals draw. Okay? Alright. So, what this does is a uh, predicted view model is basically just what your view, what you see. It's your hands and your, your knife. Okay? That's, that's just sort of the, the engine name that, uh, that CS uses to, uh, to dictate this. It's like a point entity and our point entity here is our, is our what we see. Okay, for this next command, we're actually just going to hit up arrow. Okay? And we're going to just use what we already typed for the previous command and uh, alter it a little bit to then get our next couple of commands. Make things easy for us and save us on, on typing. Okay, for this one, we just want to go over, take out class, and it's just going to be name, lowercase n, okay? Name equals, let's take out predicted view model, okay? And our action's going to be draw, okay? All right, so we're going to type in VGUI underscore, and then backslash, Asterisk. Now this asterisk is just like a wild card, so it's a it's like a wild card string. Anything that starts with VGUI underscore backslash uh, will then get drawn on this on this uh, stream here. Okay, cool. So let's hit enter. Okay, great. We're gonna do the same thing. Just press up the up arrow key. All right. And for this one, we're actually gonna do no draw. Okay. We're gonna come over here. We're going to just delete everything up to name equals, and we're going to type in dev, and then we're going to do a forward slash glow underscore backslash asterisk for wildcard, okay? Same thing, next one, press the up arrow, we're going to keep no draw the same, we're going to delete everything up to dev, and we're going to type in halo underscore backslash, okay? And then obviously our asterisks here. Let's just keep going here. We're going to press up arrow key. For this one, we're actually going to draw. All right. We're going to delete this stuff up to name equals. Okay. We're going to type in engine. It's going to be forward slash, then backslash, and then your asterisks. Okay. All right. Cool. Up arrow again. We're going to keep draw on. We're going to delete everything up to name equals, and we're going to do dev forward slash backslash asterisk. Okay, cool. All right, last one here. We're going to delete all of this, right? And we're going to type in action equals mask. Okay, cool. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to press up arrow key and delete all of this now. 
and we're going to do edit POV draw HUD zero. Okay, so those are all of our commands. Now let's preview to see what this looks like. Okay, there you go. Point of view only stream with no other entities on the screen. Now, what can we pair this with? Well, here's what I would do if I were using this, right? So this is your green screen layer, right? With your hand on it. What you want to do is actually make a, a world stream, right? Merge streams, add mat world, and we'll call it W, right? All right, and then what we do is you can preview W, and as you can see, all the entities are gone, right? All the counter terrorists are gone, all the uh, guns are gone, even your view model's gone. Now, what you would do is you would then record this, right? And you would combine the two together, your world stream and your view model only stream, and you get something that looks like this. Now, as you can see, the shadows from the counter terrorists are still there. You would probably use the picker tool to get rid of those so it doesn't look weird with a shadow kind of running around, but there's no counter terrorist running around with it. I do have a picker tool tutorial on my YouTube channel, so make sure you check that out if you want to figure out how to isolate that shadow and undraw it from a stream. You know how streams work. You know how all the basics of the... Okay. All right. Thank you, dogs. Hi, Sean. So base effects allows us to add these different commands or these different effects to each to fuck me and base effects allows us to add commands or 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 stuttering can i stop stuttering on the base effects stream come on in sean come on in why don't you explain to the audience what you think about base effects streams since i apparently can't talk Okay, so basic <laughs> extremes.